George sits serenely in his barber chair. Suddenly, he realizes he's left his wallet at home. How would he be able to pay for him and his son and his haircuts? Would he have to sweep the floor after hours? Would the barber just shave his head? Noticing Andy gesturing wildly towards the mirror, George pleads for his help. Andy smugly opens his Bitcoin Cash wallet and sends his Luddite father exactly two haircuts worth of Bitcoin Cash. Hey, thanks, man. Bitcoin Cash, the future of money today. Hey guys, welcome back for the weekly update here on YouTube. So on yesterday's poll, I uh, I said here, what chart would you like to see on YouTube tomorrow, which is today? And we had BTC with 49% of the votes. We had 206 people voting. We had a little bit more people voting this week than last week. Uh, so let's get into the BTC chart. Uh, and this is the BTC versus USD one day candles from Bit Phoenix as usual. Uh, I have the drawings from last week. Uh, let me activate this. So if you remember, I did BTC USD uh, last week on YouTube. Uh, I was on Thursday, I think, so six days ago today. And really nothing has been happening for the whole week until yesterday that we started dropping here. Here. This drop is very, very normal. We're getting rejected from the 200 day moving average and the 50 week moving average. If we switch to the weekly chart, I showed this last week. The 50 week moving average is around the same level with the 200 day moving average. So these two are very, very strong moving averages. Plus, you know, we were going up a lot, very fast and very vertical. So it's normal that it has to retrace here, but nothing very special is happening. Now seems it we are <coughs> finding some support at the 20 day moving average. See it's already bouncing and also the RSI is all the way down so uh, it should be bouncing. I don't think we're gonna uh, we're gonna see heavy sell-offs until the several ETFs resolve. I was explaining explaining this last week here on YouTube. I draw this box here. This is when the ETF it's supposed to be announced, uh, well, the, several ETFs. Now, we had one of the main ones already rejected. I have to adapt this because um, I got some official documentation and the dates are for the 15th of September. So let me adapt this box and I'm going to put the, the box starting uh, somewhere in September, uh, the first week of September here. Let's see, this is the 6th of September. So the, the decision should be announced the 15th of September, you know, whether it's going to be rejected or, or delayed or whatever. So I'm going to uh, put the box starting one week uh, before this and, you know, a few days after. So I'm just going to leave it there. I would not expect any uh, really heavy sell offs before this date, because, you know, even though one of the main ETFs, uh, it's already been rejected and, you know, we had this drop, not just because of the ETF rejection, but also because it was extended, we, we had resistance. But, you know, even though one of the main ETFs was rejected and we lost a little bit of hype in the markets, you know, there's still other main ETFs uh, that are waiting, you know, to be announced. So I don't think people are selling everything they have just in case, you know, the ETF was going to be positive because there's, it's not much more to wait here until September, you know, until the middle of September. So I would expect sideways movement until the ETF. I think I repeated this. I don't know how many times already. I feel like a broken record. I, I expect sideways movement until you know, one week before uh, we need to, to, to know something about the ETFs, but I wouldn't expect anything uh, really crazy until then. So when I say sideways movement, I mean, it could be a slowly uptrending or maybe slowly downtrending, but something, you know, with, with some volatility, but, you know, less volatility than normal and just going sideways. There's not, not a lot I can, a lot I can say about this. So, you know, uh, this line, this arrow, I'm just going to move it. If the ETF is approved, then somewhere here, whatever, then I would expect this to go up. And if the ETF is rejected, tank, you know, go down. But I'm just going to just leave it like this. You get the idea here. And until then, probably sideways movement. I mean, we can go as high as 10,000 before the ETF, you know, because if there's a little bit of hype still in the markets uh, about this ETF price, the price might go up, you know, might continue to go up, even if it's a slowly, like kind of sideways, but, but uptrending, we could go as high as 10,000 and then have a drop the week before the ETF because people wants to take profit buying the, buying the rumor and selling the news. 
and only uh, after the, the actual decision is made and and public then if it's rejected then i would expect a big drop you know maybe capitulation or maybe just a slow bleeding until the end of the year uh or you know um, or even next year but for now i'm just gonna you know i'm just gonna leave it like this i'm not i'm not gonna change anything uh uh, from my arrows here from last week uh, and I think that's all and another thing I wanted to show is important to pay attention to the uh, total market cap here and also the BTC dominance because actually I was uh, talking about this here on premium channel what is it this one here this was exactly last week as well one week ago this was in the premium channel i draw this line in the total market cap and i said uh retest of the main trend line as resistance soon you see we were approaching the main trend line here be careful breaking above it and staying above it would be the first decent bull sign until then we remain full bear let's see so and if you look at this chart now one week after i did this uh this line here so from this low to this low and then just extend it and you can see the line perfectly here it touches it goes uh from this low to this low it it was support here again and then it dropped and it uh, broke below it and since we broke below this main trend line i've been saying this is probably the sign of a long-term bear market you know and it doesn't mean that you need to be shorting like crazy here the time to short was here and here but when i say uh we are for a long-term bear market i mean a slow bleeding and and then sideways market for several months until we get excitement in the you know in the industry again but um uh, and you can see here we went up almost touching this line and we're getting rejected now we could be you know go uh, staying below the line but this line is uptrending so we could be going sideways and s uh, slowly uptrending here but not breaking above it if we actually break above this line and stay above it then that would be that would be the first uh, bullish sign but until we don't get that i'm assuming we are still in a bear market and we're gonna get rejected from this line at some point and continue to you know to slow bleed down for who knows how long and i think that's all that i wanted to show for btc uh this week guys so i'm gonna leave the video here and uh, yeah i will see you soon bye